So much. A contractor installing a stop sign hit a water main this morning, leading to a precautionary boil order for some people in Slidell. It happened near the intersection of Herwick Bluff Road and Crossgates Boulevard. Officials say crews had to turn off that water to repair the 10 inch main, leading to that advisory. Now, water samples are being tested. We, of course, will let you know when the boil order is lifted, and it's typically a day or two. Now, the water is now safe to use across New Orleans East. The second boil order in a week for that same neighborhood was lifted earlier today. And as Tan Trung explains, some city leaders say don't be surprised if it happens in other parts of New Orleans. This is my car. As you can see, it's not in great shape. It's got a lot of miles on it, but it still gets me around. The door lock on the driver's side doesn't work anymore, and the paint is peeling off the top. This car and the city's infrastructure oddly have similarities. They're both aging and eventually they're going to break down. It is going to continuously happen. The system is just old. That reality New Orleans Councilman Jay Banks is talking about has played out several times already this year. From water main breaks to boil water advisories, the issues often flow from the crumbling infrastructure in New Orleans. To fix it will take more money. Unfortunately, the, uh, the, the, the millage didn't pass, but at some point, we're going to have to come to grips with we've got to have the resources necessary to fix this. Sure. It is going to continue to happen. Voters recently shot down a new property tax that would have brought in about $12 million a year to maintain and repair infrastructure. Joseph Dorsey is it's among those voters. Things. If I see progress being made, I don't mind spending extra. But I see stuff that needs to be fixed. It's going on a year and a half. Dorsey and his wife live on Reed Boulevard in New Orleans East, which saw two boil water advisories in a week. They say, unfortunately, they're used to that and don't have high expectations. If you get it fixed right the first time, then you'll be all right. You wouldn't have to keep, you know, spending money and stuff, fixing, you know. The same issue. Yeah. It's like going around in circles. You can't spend money you don't have, but it's going to take money to fix the issues. And like a circle, the problems are likely to come back around. Tom Trung, Eyewitness News. While voters shot down the millage proposal, they did approve a plan for the city to borrow $500 million for infrastructure projects. And voters also approved a tax on tourists using short-term rentals. That would generate about $10.5 million a year, a portion of which would go to the Sewage and Water Board.